Um, some of you have probably heard about USA Funds, but those of you who have not, we're a nonprofit uh, organization which is based here in Indianapolis. Uh, we were established in 1960 by a group of local business leaders who believe that a nonprofit, the nonprofit sector, could have a huge impact on assisting families and, and students to prepare and pay for college. Although our best known role throughout the last 50 years has been an administrator of student loans, our mission is, has always been broader than that. In fact, during the past decade, USA Funds has awarded more than $100 million in scholarships to low and to moderate income students and to grants to other nonprofit organizations that share our mission of enhancing post-secondary education preparedness, access, and success. Last year, in 2010, USA Funds celebrated its 50th anniversary of service to higher education. And to mark that golden anniversary, members of our board decided to fund a special grant program to award two grants of up to a million dollars each to nonprofit organizations to expand and to replicate existing models of success in, of, in higher education and college completion, especially among students who are underrepresented in higher education. This underrepresented population includes students of color, those from low income households, first generation college students, and former foster care youth. One of these million dollar grants was targeted to nonprofits outside of Indiana. In fact, there's a group in Boston right now uh, announcing that award. The second grant was designed and designated for an Indiana nonprofit to promote college success here in the state of Indiana. We thought it was fit fitting to name this award for the late John Burkhardt. John was one of the main founders of USA Funds back in 1960 and a man who made significant contributions to the betterment of the community of Indianapolis. So for this announcement of the recipient of the USA Funds John Burkhardt Indiana Award for College Success, I'm delighted to acknowledge Lorene Burkhardt, whom many of you know is a business leader, an entrepreneur, and a philanthropist in her own right. And I understand that you'd like to say a couple words? Sure. Well, this is so thrilling. Uh, for those of you who knew John, <laughs> you know that there was nothing he liked better than giving money away. <laughs> so this is so appropriate. He was a very um, generous man uh, with his time and with uh, everything that he did. And uh, in case uh, some of you don't know, he was the uh, one of the founders of College Life Insurance and then a co-founder of the Indianapolis Business Journal. But in his spare time, he also uh, was uh, uh, instrumental in creating USA Funds. And one other thing that you may not know about that has a lot to do with education, uh, he helped create PTOs, which is now, of course, a national organization. So, uh, and he also served on the U.S. Chamber as chairman of the U.S. Chamber's Education Committee. So education was extremely important to him. And I remember in his later years, I was writing about him, uh, and uh, I, I asked him what was the most important thing that had ever happened to him. You know, I was hoping he'd say meeting me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but right behind that uh, was going to DePaul University. And the reason that that was so important was that he would never have been able to afford to go to college if he had not received a scholarship to DePaul. And he said he met so many people that later in his life were so significant in his life. His first wife, Ardeth Burkhardt, he met in college. Uh, his business partners in founding College Life and his business partner in founding the Indianapolis Business Journal. So that's why, uh, I'm sorry I didn't go to DePaul, but. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so he would be so thrilled uh, to have this money go to an organization that will put it to such good use. Thank you for coming. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit. Us tall guys, it's hard for me to see. I think that's about it, Carl. No, it's not yeah. going to work. All right. That's what happens when you get to be 61 years old. You can't see your participation. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, let's let's move on with the with the announcement. Uh, we decided to focus uh, this grant program in Indiana on college completion because while preparation for and access to and higher education are certainly very important things to be concerned about, students don't reap the full benefits of college unless they complete the degree that they're going to college for. And all, receiving, receiving their college diploma, therefore, is really the ultimate goal of college attainment. And we know this from our experience as a student loan administrator. You know, former students who have the most difficulty repaying their student loans are typically those who, who do not finish college. They drop out of college, they can't pay back the loans. There's a high correlation between those two things. We also know that the better paying jobs and the fastest growing occupations in the 21st century economy typically require a college degree or certificate and not just some college. We also know that disparities persist in college graduation rates among members of various ethnic and income groups. And for our nation to process, pr prosper, we need to address these inequities. In addition, our nation's leaders have established a goal that by 2020, to restore the United States to the top spot among nations in the percentage of our adult population with a college degree. Achieving this goal is absolutely essential for ensuring that our nation is competitive in this global economy. Workforce economists tell us that at our present rate of college graduation, by 2018, our economy will fall 3 million college degrees short of meeting the educational <coughs> requirements for the new jobs in our new economy. To summarize the process we followed to select the recipients of this award, we first solicited applications for this grant between July and December of last year. Applicants were required to complete a detailed 29 question application that focused on their program's track record of success, their program's goals, their plans for expansion, their ability to sustain their expansion, and their capacity to manage the expanded program. We received 26 applications for the Burkhart Indiana Award. USA Fund's Access and Outreach staff, staff that I made stand up here a few minutes ago, then screened these applications. Then we had an, a, an advisory con council, the Access and Outreach Advisory con uh, Council, which was a panel of outside experts on philanthropy and higher education. They reviewed a group of semi-finalists and recommended four finalists to our board's Access and Outreach Committee. That that committee, our board committee, then conducted further research on the finalists, including on-site visits to some of the finalists. That committee then recommended the recipient for this grant award to our full board of trustees. As a member of the Board of Trustees myself, I can tell you that the final selection for this award was not at all an easy decision. There were some excellent college success programs in Indiana, some we didn't even know existed, which is great for us to learn that. But the USA Funds Board concluded that based on the following items, its track record of supporting student success since 2003, its 100% success rate in the high school graduation and enrollment and higher education programs of its program participants, its successful mentoring model, and its plans to replicate and expand its college success component, one program stood above all the others as the best choice for this $1 million grant award. So I'm delighted to announce that the recipient of the USA Fund's John Burkhardt Indiana Award for College Success is Starfish Initiative. a member of the Starfish Board and one of its founders, Mike Feeney. Thank you, Carl. They, uh, they asked who, who might be willing to stand up and receive the award. They said, just let the old guy do it. Uh, he, he does most of the stuff because he is old. Uh, I want to take uh, just a second and, and ask those people who are members of the Starfish staff to stand and tell us your name and exactly what you do. You are the reason that we stand here today. You start, Everett? Uh, Everett Green, Skylar Specialist. Kristen Donnelly, Administrative Assistant. Bethany Warner, Director of Advancement. Jessica Fiffin, Director of Mentor and Scholar Services. Matt Blankton, Scholar Specialist. Denise Coleman, Scholar Specialist. Betsy Hickman, Senior Director of Operations. Kelly Allred, Administrative Assistant. Nancy Reardon, 
scholar specialist and one time photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Bay, scholar specialist and key club advisor. Uh, Rodney Frederick, scholar specialist. Robert Banger, communications. Jeff Schaefer, communications director. Mike Collins, board member and acting interim executive director. Thank you. I'm not sure that I, it's always important to me that people understand where the work gets done. Uh, I was in the Army. So um, the, uh, I wanted to make sure that you saw the faces behind the names of the people that work really hard every day to make this a successful organization. It is with great pleasure and pride that I've been given a chance on behalf of the staff, the board of directors, the mentors, and in particular the Starfish Scholars to acknowledge and accept this transformational grant awarded to Starfish Initiative from USA Funds. The Burkhardt Award is given by USA Funds to only one organization in the state of Indiana, and we at Starfish Initiative understand with great clarity the importance and trust now placed in our organization to achieve at even greater levels of success than in the past seven years. Our work of assisting Indiana scholars focuses not only in assisting students to graduate from high school, but enter and succeed in post-secondary education. We are committed to have this work continue and grow at a very rapid pace. Ultimately, our goal is to help these scholars become successful citizens and participate in the growth of the next generation. Our hope is that the model we create may be replicated in other locations and we are committed in this regard. Please know that we at Starfish Initiative will continue to have the hearts and minds of our students at the forefront of our efforts as we accept this grant and the stipulations therein. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce Larry Smith at this time for just a couple of words about Starfish. Larry is the chairman of the board of directors. Thank you, everyone. Um, we had a wide range of emotions when we heard uh, that we won the award. We thought first, oh my God, we won. And then we thought, oh my God, we won. Uh, and it is a, a very, very exciting uh, opportunity because we understand that with a great award comes great responsibility. Uh, I think I can say without uh, hyperbole or hesitation that Starfish Initiative is uh, the core of what will make Indiana continue to be a great state in this nation. We have to ensure that our students uh, to obtain a college education. It is uh, incredibly important for the, f the economic future uh, of this nation uh, and indeed America's place world and again I think I can say that uh, without hesitation uh, or hyperbole. Uh, I also want to uh, emphasize the importance of our mentors. Our mentors are in addition to the staff uh, certainly are the sine qua non, the thing that we cannot do our job without uh, and uh, with that I want to talk a little bit about Carson Goff, one of our uh, mentors who is with us today as well as, as, well as his uh, uh, scholar uh, Merrill. Uh, Mr. Goff heard about Starfish through his involvement with Giving Some. I'm sure most of, the, most of us in the room are aware of Giving Some. Uh, he volunteered to chaperone at one of our leadership camps and decided uh, to stay with Starfish as a mentor. We didn't run him away. Uh, his wife, Monica, is a mentor as well. Uh, Goff is a graduate of another great small liberal arts university, uh, Miami University of Ohio, uh, with a degree in finance. Uh, he works as a sales consultant for Paychex. Uh, his scholar who is here, uh, Merrill, is a Marion County High School freshman who loves math. I think I read that correctly, right? Loves <laughs> math. Uh, Merrill hopes to attend Purdue University uh, and become an engineer. That's a great place if you want to be an engineer. Uh, he also is an athlete, uh, played football this year at, on the uh, offensive line as well as uh, on the defensive line. So with that, we would like to introduce Carson and Merrill. Well, again, we, we both thank you for the opportunity uh, to come here and speak briefly. Um, I, I mean, I, I just feel privileged to be able to have the opportunity to spend time with, with somebody like Emeril, who obviously has you know, big hopes and dreams for what he can do uh, here in, in, in the near future. So hopefully I'm doing my part to get him on that path. But Starfish has been such a, a, a neat program. And again, I, I did learn about it through another organization. And uh, I'm, I'm not originally from Indiana. And so when, early on when I moved here, I heard about Indianapolis and, and high school and how you know, we kind of struggled as far as graduation rate. So being newly married within the last year, I thought, hey, I need to start to make a difference as soon as possible. And 
what better way to try and mentor some, some kids and make sure they get through high school and get on to, to secondary education. So, um, so Emer and I get together every couple weeks. Uh, Starfish does a great job about partnering us up. We're big sports fans, so we have a lot of fun watching games and that sort of thing. But we, we try and do a few educational things each week as well. Um, so we, you know, whether it's going to the library and, and working on some work or keeping Emerald on that idea of, of being consistent every day with, with homework and, and, and the like. So, um, so again, we appreciate it. This is a truly exciting just to know that there's going to be a, a long, long future for Starfish, and that's this is such an incredible organization. So we're, we're just thankful for the opportunity to come and speak. Um, does anybody have any other questions for me or for Emerald? Tell yes. me about your uh, relationship with Carson and where you go to school and how you feel about what's going on in your life. Well, first of all, I go to Arsenal Tech, which is not that far away from here. Well, we have a really good relationship. We're really close. I mean, we hang out. We can talk about just like normal stuff, just be normal people around each other, and just do regular things. So, and I'm really glad that I got involved in Starfish so I can meet people like Carson and everybody that I've met so far. It's just really great. Emerald's definitely made a lot of friends, so every time there's a Starfish event, I have a hard time having five seconds with him because he's having fun with all his friends that he's already met in six, seven months. So I know that's a great thing for them to all keep each other on the same path as well. What led you to Starfish? Well, our guidance counselor set up some, uh, I guess, a meeting with one of the Starfish employees, and they came to our school, they talked about it, and we had to sort of sign up and stuff and I guess I was just interested because I really want to go to college and get on so 